You have a blue card. Do you accept it? Mr. Carver. Thank you, Mr. Smith, for accepting my blue card. As someone who seeks independence for his own nation from a bigger United Kingdom, does he understand the aspirations of the South Arabian people who seek after such distress and this long history of being in a situation where a largely Sunni part of the Yemen is currently under control from a, a new Shia group, does he understand actually that perhaps independence might be a good option for South Arabia here? Thank you. Well, I certainly do support independence for Scotland because I can speak on behalf of the people of Scotland in this chamber and uh, a substantial proportion of Scotland. I think it's dangerous to say that that logic applies to every place in every circumstance. And international law is really quite clear that we deal with these matters on their merits according to the reality on the ground. I myself am fairly relaxed about constitutional change, but that must be managed by the international community, peacefully and democratically achieved, and with the support of precisely the organisations like the European Union who must engage in state building because the problem that we have in Yemen is rooted in the fact that the people of Yemen see nothing in Sana'a or indeed any capital that they're looking to to actually support them.